So thank you, Jacob, for uh, being here with us after an amazing presentation about your trial, the Notion Tree trial. Can you explain how something more about this trial and the gap in the need that this trial can solve out? So uh, as to the background, um, Tavi is uh, as the standard of care for treating severe autism stenosis and uh, these patients often have uh, coronary artery disease. And as it stands today, there are around 15 or 10 percent of the patients are being treated with PCI in this to Tavi. However, there's no recommendation for performing the PCI. So that was the background. So based on that, we performed this Notion 3 randomized control trial where we randomized patients with uh, severe autism stenosis treated with Tavi who also had uh, coronary artery disease. And they were randomized to Tavi alone or Tavi plus uh, PCI. So the result of the notion, what did it say exactly? PCI, we have to do that or not in Tavi patients? So I think uh, as with all trials, this is uh, average, but the, the primary endpoint um, that was a composite of uh, old cause mortality, myocardial infarction, or urgent revascularization was significant favoring PCI with a reduction with a hazard ratio of 0.71. So according to that, then we should do uh, a PCI. So I saw in your presentation that indeed the stenosis that you decided to treat were defined as significant or by physiology, the FFR, or by angiography, but more than 90%. So they are very tight stenosis. Do you think that this is important for the result of your study? I think that is very important for the results of our study. We were very strict with these criteria, and we, it was the same that are used in the FAME trials. So you have to have very tight stenosis or positive FFR value. And just a one comment regarding FFR in these patients, it, when you do FFR, in patients with severe autism stenosis, it tends to be higher. Oh, sorry, it tends to be it, it tends to be higher. So that means that when you have FFR value that is significant, it probably is significant. So I think it's very key issue to why we found this uh, result. I and really like the, the 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 merge between angiography and physiology because this means even that we can trust to the physiology in this patient. Yes, I think we can. Well, of course, we, this is not the final uh, evidence for FFR in these patients. Uh, and, um, but it is a way. And we have um, actually uh, working on a paper uh, about, in this trial, we also had a registry where we had patients that had negative FFR values. So these patients... Or Tavi. Yeah, so we did the FFR. If it was positive, they were randomized in the trial. However, if it was a negative, they were following the registry. Okay. So we have uh, patients uh, followed in the same manner with endpoints, and we want to. We are real soon uh, be re able to to see how that will go. Really? So, so when we have those data, we can ask more whether the FFR is is is. Uh, is, is, is reliable. We'll be waiting for these results of the registry even, but um, what about the patient you enrolled were around 80 years old, but low risk patient. Mm. Do you think that we can expand the result of the Notion 3 even to younger patient, always at low risk? I think, I think we can definitely expand them to younger and lower risk patients. I think it's to expand them to elderly patients will be more tricky. And I think, um, as I mentioned earlier on, this is an average. So, of course, there are some patients in the trial that did not benefit from PCI. And who those are is, is difficult to say, but uh, and the final decision of whether to perform PCI should always be done on the individual assessment from, uh, of the individual patient. So a very old patient very uh, little coronary artery disease, probably not PCI. However, younger patients with significant tight lesions, probably PCI. So would you say that the Notion 3 in the population target will change your practice by saying, okay, in the typical patient like that with TABI and tight stenosis, uh, with a low risk, I will perform PCI in my practice? Yes, that's the short answer to that. I think... Um, I've been talking to many uh, from other sites and places, and um, these patients are handled very differently. Uh, and I think this trial will 
affect some making um, maybe towards a more aggressive uh, invasive approach for treating these patients and uh, also because during the later years has been a tendency to more conservative approach so i think it will have impact and maybe it will impact even the physiology use uh, in the guidance of the pci in this piece Thank you very much and uh, we will wait for other data coming from uh, the North Centre and uh, thanks for the great presentation. Thank you very much for having me, thank you.